Feels like one of those days that start with two world wars and a bowl of mutually assured destruction washed down with a glass of ISIS, ice cold acts of terrorism, while you stare at that screen for a glimpse of the genocide that got censored out of your high school textbooks. My God, does your God have a lot to answer for? <laughs> Keep staring at that screen and you might forget that Windows existed before computers, but those frame reality, so you keep them shut, just like you shut out the voices that comment on the weather and ask, what are you doing today? And other questions that can be answered with, I don't know. Now you know why you can't find these mere words, words, words. Don't expect the dictionary to save you when you don't mind talking about the weather, when you'll let strangers string your thoughts together, when it's quicker for you to wait, to sit and stare before you dare, before you care, because you're sure that someone else will find the cure. We will come to cure everything. Time cures all, but we become careless when we overdose on time. So, I understand why you can't stand to leave your chair, why you'll stare at the screen instead of my eyes. But if someday your battery dies, and the dust on your screen recalls star pregnant skies, if you ever care to dance to the voice of a real and perfect human being, if you ever dare to care again, then remember that we are not the cynics you find in flashing headlines, that contrary to last night's news, this world offers more good than grief. Remember that the mass of men default to innocence. Remember that the poet's last words were noli temere, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to shut down the source of your terror. Do not be afraid to turn on the lights or unfurl the shades. Do not be afraid to raise your hand. Do not be afraid to look me in the eye. I am not Medusa. Only your silence will turn you to stone. Do not be afraid to grab silence by the throat and stab it with your wit. Your tongue is sharp. It should be more than a poet's paperweight. So forget about how many poets have said it better. Tell me how good it feels to sing. Tell me how it hurts to be alive. Tell me what you've been dying to say so you can start living again. And tell me that you're afraid of me. So I can admit that all along, I've been just as afraid of you.